Hi, my name is Adam Havrilla and I would like to welcome you back. It is August, it is end of season barbecues, and there is no better way to celebrate that than using a grill from a barbecue and creating this gorgeous centerpiece. The base for the design is a 13 and a half inch grill that's actually a real grill for a barbecue that I put some one and a half inch L brackets on and they're back to back. I just screwed them on to be the base of it, right? Because we want it to stand vertical. And then I have water tubes and I know you're saying, well, we did water tubes last time. We're doing them again because I think that it's a perfect display for this. So I'm using bind wire. This is what we use in the floral world. You can use zip ties. Zip ties would work really well as well. Or you can ask the floor department to buy some bind wire and they'll sell it to you. So I'm just gonna take the bind wire and I'm gonna twist it around here and the cap will keep it in place. And I'm gonna do that to all of them. If you were using zip ties, you wouldn't do that, of course. You would just put them on and zip tie it. But I go like, I tie it like there. So then I can go ahead and just secure it to the back of the grill. Now, this is important. Make sure the lines of the grill are going horizontal to hold these, because if it was going vertical, they would just slip right down. I learned that the hard way in trial and error, so I wanted to share that with you. So go ahead and put these on, and I'm gonna make this double-sided. So I'm gonna put some on the front as well as the back. And the nice thing about this grill is that when the design's done, I can slide these all around to fit exactly the way we want it to fit. And make sure that you cut off the outside pieces, the extra length. We don't want that showing in our design. So I'm just going through and cutting these off. But what a very simple but impactful theme structure for those last end of the year barbecues. And as you can see, you can slide them around, put them where you want. We'll judge that when we put the flowers in. Are these colors not the most perfect colors for a last end of the year barbecue? With the red like a grill and the yellow like the sun, this is perfect for that last minute barbecue. What I already did is I took a lot of the foliage off. We want to really see the blooms of the flowers. So I took them off and we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert them into our water tubes throughout the design so that way you can see through the grill at the flowers behind. This will be the perfect centerpiece. When you're putting the flowers in, hold them closest to the tube. So if I'm putting in to this tube, I'm holding it at the base of the flower and pushing it in. Because if I were to hold it at the head of the flower, then chances are that would crack right off. And you see they're going a little crookedy on me, but we're gonna fix that once we're done. All the flowers have a beautiful water source. So just so you're aware, we paused camera so I could go in so it wouldn't be such a long video. And I added an extra bind 
at the base of the tubes to keep them from twisting and turning. Do you see how now they're all going directly up? So just add either it's a bind wire or a zip tie, something at the base as well to keep it from going. If you are gonna use zip ties, use the very thin clear ones so they disappear. Our next flower is this gorgeous Matricaria. And I'm gonna put this throughout the design. And remember, hold it at the tube level. And I use clear water tubes because I like that they more or less disappear in the design. And you can use one water tube for two floral items. It can be a little bit difficult to put them in, but it, it is possible. What do you think? It's gonna be perfect for an outdoor barbecue, isn't it? Now that we have all of our floral item in, looks gorgeous, we're gonna add some of our color enhanced items. So the nice thing about the color enhanced items, doesn't really have to go in water, it'll sustain for a few days without water. So you could put these in that look a little bit like fire and you could just put them into the grill itself. Just weave them into the grill. How cool is that? You could put them all around, weaving them in. Just give that pop of spark as I am inspired by it. I think it looks like a spark. Let me look at the front. All right, I think we need one more right there. And this would be great for a centerpiece, for a welcome table, pretty much anything you want. An outside barbecue, isn't that perfect? Now we have the Ruscus. So as you know, we're gonna cut these into little pieces. Gorgeous red. And I am just gonna put them at the base to cover up the mechanics of those L brackets. Because we don't wanna see the mechanics. We wanna make sure that we cover up the mechanics. It's so nice that it's color enhanced and it does well without any kind of moisture for a while. And then if you have some extras, feel free. And let's put them into the design. And you see, I'm just putting the extra pieces right into the design to bring that red up from the base, up through the design. How beautiful is that? So what do you think? Is this not the perfect, kitschy, kind of cool centerpiece idea for your next barbecue? Some tips and tricks to it. Leave part of the grill showing so it's obvious what it is because you don't want them coming in saying, oh, that's interesting. You really want to showcase that it is actual a grill from a barbecue. If you use yours, please wash it. I know you're going to, but grease is not great for flowers, so wash it. This is brand new, so that's why it's shiny, but have part of the grill showing. Make sure you cover your mechanics and you have flowers coming up both sides in these gorgeous water tubes. I hope you enjoy the end of summer barbecues and I look forward to seeing you next month. Remember, like and subscribe and we will see you soon.